What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Ajax cast. Thank you guys for 2,000 subs. Holy crap. <laughs> I felt like we just got started the other day with these Ajax casts, but we love all the support so far guys. Here with the beam again, and we're going to be talking about the Flash movie trailer. We got some mm. theories coming in. We have uh, kind of like our input on it and other things like that. Um, but to kind of kick things off, Yes, we're a little surprised Ezra Miller is able to still have a job. <laughs> um, somehow. <laughs> somehow. But um, the biggest thing from the trailer is our boy, Michael Keaton. Batman is making a return because it's kind of like a multiverse type thing within the DC universe. And if you've seen this clip where he like flies down, this buddy is hauling and he is kicking ass. On top of that, we also see Ben Affleck in the movie. So, and it looks like it's Ben Affleck on the bike as well. Here, I can pull it up. Here is Ben Affleck within the trailer as well. So that shows two. We we see two different flashes in this trailer. We see two different Batmans. A popular theory I've been reading about that everyone would love, that I absolutely would love, is if we get some sort of Christian Bale cameo, whether he's Batman or he's just like just some dude just standing there i would absolutely love that so tell me kind of what you think about that tyler yeah i mean that kind of reminds me of yeah spider-man no way home or even uh, into the spider-verse yeah. like i feel like there's a lot of parallels you can make between the two but i'm going to be interested to see like how much of ben affleck's batman are we actually going to see because it seems like i think from what the trailer is showing that most of this uh movie is going to take place in the alternate universe yeah. that barry's in so i feel like we're going to see a lot more of michael keaton's batman which i'm not against i mean i love me some classic batman but uh i mean obviously he's a bit older so i wonder how they're going to play into that if he's going to be like kind of old man batman you know he's been in the crime fighting gig for a very long time and he's wearing down a bit maybe he needs someone else to take the reins mm -hmm. so i mean i'm going to be interested to see what direction they go with that yeah and I, i'm just saying from this scene that we see right here this little clip that doesn't look like michael keaton batman oh yeah it looks like christian bale's uh batman motorcycle yeah, um, whatever it, it was called oh god because the full he had so many was, different names for his gadgets. The full yeah, car was the tumbler. This is um, God. Someone let us know the mini tumbler. <laughs> yeah, the bat bike or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going going back to Adam West Batman, the bat bike, the bat copter. But mm -hmm. a big thing me and Tyler were already kind of talking about was, you know, like yeah, this is the Flash movie, but I feel like Batman's just gonna steal the show, especially if you have like a yeah. multiverse with like multiple Batmans, Batman in it. <laughs> Yeah, like, the Batman. They're just gonna take over, man. Especially Michael Keaton, like that one little clip we saw him just absolutely kicking ass. Like, I mean, I don't know though because the Flash is honestly one of the most OP people in the DC universe. Yeah, because I mean, he can literally go back in time. I mean, we're gonna see him hop universes in this. Like, he really has the powers to steal the show if he wants to. I just wonder how much of that is actually gonna happen, considering you know it's Ezra Miller. Because I mean, I know we haven't really talked about it, but I mean. We all know all the allegations surrounding him, and I feel like a lot of people aren't going to want to like him, partly because of the actor. And I mean, I don't really blame him. Yeah. But I mean, The Flash has the abilities to steal the show if he wants to, but I mean, the supporting cast here is crazy. Like like you're showing right now, Supergirl's in it. You got Michael Keaton's Batman. I wonder if we're going to see other Batman or other super people. General Zod's going to be in it. I wonder, is he going to be the big bad guy, or are we going to see maybe Reverse Flash or someone come in? I don't you think know? we're going to see Reverse Flash. I think they would have teased the Reverse Flash in the trailer because people are obsessed mm -hmm. with Reverse Flash. But um, going back to your point, you were talking about with how Flash is like a great character that will steal the show. If you watch the original Justice League, my favorite character, like other than Batman, was the Flash. Like mm -hmm. He was so iconic, so fun to watch in the original Justice League. Like the show, not the not the the movie. Yeah, we're not talking. About we don't that. talk about that. We don't talk. The movie that. didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. So he has a lot of potential. It's just can people get past the it being Ezra Miller? <laughs> that's the tough part. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised they didn't recast it. I mean, like I feel like if you cast like any other character in that, then it would immediately elevate the movie a bit. But I mean, this I do believe this is one of, like the last movies if not the last movie in dceu before they do the hard reboot yep. so i feel like because of that it's like eh, it's ezra miller we'll deal with him for one more movie and then we'll recast the role well the thing is they've been working on this movie for a while so that's yeah like they were probably if not done 
with production, like, if not halfway done when he was doing Ezra Miller stuff. Yeah, Ezra Miller stuff. I mean, Jared Leto's got a gig right now. He's yeah. still making movies and stuff, and we all know all that those allegations around him. So I guess I'm not that surprised, but still. But I am I do love General Zod though. Like I'm looking forward to seeing how he is in this movie because I love Michael Shannon, phenomenal actor. Yes. And I feel like if he is the big bad evil guy, yeah, we've already had him in another movie, but I wouldn't be opposed to seeing him again. Like he's just a, such a great character. Well, I hope he kinda he's like a different version of Zod, you know. So mm-hmm. you know how we saw the Infinity War Thanos and then we saw an endgame Thanos, like two polar opposites. Like one, he just was trying to bring balance to the universe. And then the other one was just batshit crazy, gonna just, just kill a dick everybody. Out of it was just a <laughs> dick. <laughs> That's uh, what I hope. I hope it's flipped on this one, where like instead of him being a dick in this one, he's actually a bit more. I wouldn't say like sympathetic, but you can at least understand where he's coming from or whatever. Because that was the thing with Thanos and Infinity War is you're like, I don't agree with what he's doing, but he's not doing it for power. <laughs> I understand why he's trying to do. I don't think it'll work, but yeah. I understand. <laughs> Watching if any worth Thanos, like you get halfway through the movie, you're like, you know, he does have a point. <laughs> I know. So now I was like, you know what? I kind of hope he wins. <laughs> I want to see what happens. But yeah, this will be interesting too. But I mean, like, there is a threat that you know General Zod could win because I mean, Supergirl, from what we've seen in the trailer, like she's not very experienced. It looks like it looks like she just like crawled out of like an insane asylum or yeah, something. Yeah. And she looked like it. she was starred for a long time too, yeah, but like she doesn't. Outfit. This looks like her first time like fighting or whatever. So there's a chance that going up against General Zod, she might really struggle. So it might be. I think at the end of the movie, we might see like a three way battle with like Supergirl, Michael Keaton, Batman, and the Flash versus General Zod. And I mean that could be a very interesting fight. Yeah, because uh, they also talk about in the trailer, like um, you hear uh, Barry say that he created a world where there was no what do you say metahumans was that what they yes call it? Yeah. metahumans yeah metahumans i mean but we see supergirl in it so who who knows what the case may be for that well i mean she she's an alien that's oh, the difference yeah, yeah, yeah. with that yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah she's an alien but yeah um i think i will like depending on how the movie goes like i would not mind if zod like won and everyone just like died like it's an alternative universe who cares yeah, like, yeah or it's like hey we're ending the universe so boom mic drop i mean they uh, honestly like you might as well right have some like actual consequences because if you do something like that first off it's an alternative universe you never have to go back to it if you don't want to mm-hmm. and two it makes the risk of failure that much more real because yeah. i feel like a lot of people when they go to a superhero movie we all know that, yeah, sure, the stakes are high, but, I mean, the good guys are always going to win in the end. Yeah. Like, we why, know it. See, that's why, like, Phase 2, Phase 3, and Marvel were so good, because how some of those ended. Like, how Infinity War ended, that movie is one of the greatest movies of all time, because of how it ended. They lost. Yeah. They, it was they pretty They literally bleak. lost. Um, yeah, and, I mean, that's what they need. That's what I think the DC universe needs, because, I mean, even with the Zack Snyder movies that all try to go, you know, dark, grim, little gritty and everything, the superhero is still won every time in the end. And I feel like it cheapened it a little bit. So if they actually did that with one of these movies, and, I mean, again, you're never going to have to come back to this universe. There's not really that many consequences, yeah. but it would carry over to the next universe they do with a uh, gun and all of them. Mm-hmm. So I think honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a kind of bad ending for it. Yeah. And here's the thing. Like, so my three favorite Marvel movies all have like a bad ending. So infinity war, what we just talked about, they all die except for like few and Thanos wins and um, he, whatever goes to watch the sunset. Number mm-hmm. two, civil war. Like I loved civil war. Dude, That's probably ending, my favorite the Marvel civil movie. War, like, like Bucky gets his arm ripped off and like Mm -hmm. the relationship like Iron Man and Captain America had was done. Like they were on like the verge of killing each other. Speaking of which, by the way, I want to point out that this movie is as much of a flash movie as Captain America. Civil War was a Captain America movie. I want to point that out. Is that something I've noticed with this? This is not very, a very flash soul focused movie. Exactly. Which now what was your number three though? And then my number three was winter soldier. Cause like, Mm -hmm. Steve loses. Captain America loses in that. Bucky just shows him mercy, mm-hmm. and then leaves. And but he's like fucked up. And then I yeah. Mean, also on top of that, like wh- uh, another one of my favorites, <laughs> another Captain America movie, the first Avenger. Like 
that that ending is so sad. Like he misses out on the whole rest of his life because he saved everybody from that like bomber. It was a pirate victory in yeah. every sense of the word. Yeah, like, that's that's why I always kind of felt bad for Captain America. He pretty much got the shit into the stick every single movie he had. Yeah, yeah, man. So like those movies tend to do better when they have like a non favorable ending for the uh, protagonists. So exactly. Yeah. You got to have actual consequences. Mm -hmm. Cause like, I feel like that's going to be critical for the next phase when they actually reboot this universe. You know, we got to see some actual consequences for everything. Cause like even in like justice league or no, uh, Batman versus Superman where Superman yeah. dies, he comes back in like the very next movie. No, so no. again, it, and he, it cheapens he comes it back at the end pretty much like they show oh yeah pretty much and yeah like you see it's like coffin moving or whatever but like, it would actually be better if they just left it for the next movie yeah. right like all you had to do is just leave him dead what just for like a movie or two yeah and then going back to zod what i would like for them to do if i can pull him back up again there he is what i was speaking like of zod uh, i just want to point out to you that i loved in man of steel how they had superman kill him yeah. rather than just like knock him out or whatever yeah that, that was also a nice little touch, but go ahead. But what I'd like for them to do with Zod is make us have an appeal towards him. So that's something DC Universe has not done yet. They haven't made it to where like you're almost on the antagonist side, like we talked about with Thanos in Infinity War. Like we talk, or like a lot of people talk about with Killmonger in the first Black mm -hmm. Panther. Um, I mean, and then there's a few others through the Marvel Universe where they do a really good job with that. But if you look at any DC movie, the villains are just batshit insane. I mean, look at the most mm -hmm. recent one. I know it's not in the DCEU, but the Batman, like, you're not on the Riddler's side. This dude is a psychopath just trying to play games and fuck some people up, but... But, like, it's not so much that you have to uh, side with them. It's that you can empathize mm -hmm. with them. That's the main thing. Like, the worst movies are the ones that are, like, the villain is, like, I'm doing this because I want to take over the world or I want to destroy humanity and a bunch of bullshit like that. So you, can't, you can't empathize with it. It's not realistic. Mm -hmm. Because in the real world, everyone has their motivations that you can at least understand you may not agree with. But that's part of what creates such a compelling villain. And so, yeah, I hope they do the same thing with this. I mean, obviously, I don't know how General Zod is going to be in this universe. They can probably switch it up a bit because it is an alternative universe. Yep. But uh, I do worry that it's going to be something like, well, we can dominate Earth now because they don't have anybody to defend against us and we can recreate the Kryptonian race and stuff like that. Yeah. That's, some, that's the direction I can see them going. I hope they don't. I hope they make it maybe a little bit more empathetic, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or uh, I'd love to see if something's tied in like with his past life or like his alternate life where he was killed by Superman, you know? Maybe yeah, or maybe... Maybe it'll be something like he's lived on Earth for a while and he's like, you know, we can run it better. We can do it better than the politicians or whatever handling it right now. We know what we're doing. We're smarter than them. We're better than them. We're stronger than them. Like Homelander, I'm just better. <laughs> I am better. Yeah. I mean, honestly, they can make that argument, though, because they are in every sense of the word. And, you know, I feel like I, if they go that direction, that would make him a much more empathetic villain because you're like, well, no, I don't think he should do that. But I can understand where he's coming from. But yeah, I mean that's really it right there. Like I don't I imagine he's probably going to be the main villain, but I'd be interested to see if there's any like side villains or anything because it would be a good uh predictor for like what the future movies will hold because I want to see some flash villains honestly, like some villains unique to the flash. flash. So I feel like yeah, cuz you don't really see them a whole lot in uh the DCEU unfortunately. Yeah, well, but you know, uh, we're going to have to get that with a new flash. Um, yeah, exactly, yeah, but Honestly, though, I feel like this is their way to kind of dip their toe in the water with like the multiverse theory and all that in the DC universe, which I hope they expand upon uh, once they reboot the series. Yep. I mean, I just hope there's no shitty CGI, you know, like mm -hmm. where they had to go with the mustache. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, nowadays, that shouldn't be an issue with all this deep fake technology around. So uh, that's just crazy. <laughs> and the, there's like guys on the Internet. And I don't know if you saw. Um, so that this one guy he recreated a few scenes in the mandalorian like and i mm -hmm. i never thought the cgi was bad in the mandalorian um but this one guy did it from home at his computer and they hired him for the book of boba fett to do the cgi oh wow yeah dude and it was incredible like you couldn't tell um, um by the way guys if you want to do some videos on the mandalorian let us know in the comments you know, i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited for season three man i love mm -hmm. season one and season two but Back to the Flash. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say about it. I mean, 
I, my one thing, I hope they do not go too far into, because Marvel is, like, has fallen victim to this. I hate when they try to do too much comedic relief. And having oh, God, two yeah. berries, I think there's going to be maybe way too much of it. Um, yeah, that's the tough part, because like I feel like one of the reasons why originally the dceu was doing like okay is because it was a different tone right they didn't lean so hard on the comedic relief they went in a darker direction Mm -hmm. and i feel like the darkness was kind of accepted because again they weren't just cracking jokes every time they were saving the world i mean you can only deal with so much tony stark snarkiness before he gets old i don't know i i could listen to that all day it's more of like for me it was more of thor's cheesy stuff he would say um but, mm-hmm. but man i hope we get like some like banger one-liners like you've had through the dc universe like god batman versus superman still one of the coldest lines to this day martha no 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 <laughs> no do you bleed mm-hmm. you like... <laughs> oh yeah that's what i love about batman is like he actually has good one-liners they aren't comedic relief they're just scary that's what i love about him He's got some balls on him, Tyler. That, that's oh, what yeah. It is. He's coming it's, to get them toes. Getting them toes. <laughs> but, yeah, so uh, I'm real excited to see. I, I like how the Flash's suit looks from what we've seen so far. Um, mm-hmm. It's definitely a good design. I like it a lot. Hopefully we'll see something similar to that in the reboot. Because that's, like, the tough part about this is, like, we know there's not going to be a sequel to this movie. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this is, really gives them a lot of freedom to do whatever they want essentially so i think we're going to see some interesting stuff pop up in this movie not all of it will probably work but you know it's a good way for them to experiment with new concepts and ideas especially in a multiverse because again there's no consequences yeah so i'm real excited to see what they go with it is there anything else you want to say about the flash uh not particularly i mean honestly regardless of how this movie does i hope he gets additional movies in the future obviously with a different actor but he's a really interesting character i think it's undersold how op he is considering how powerful the speed force is, travel back in time and all that. So I really hope they flesh him out more uh, the next iteration. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to see where it goes from here. I mean, mm. we know we're going to get two Batmans in it. I would love to see Christian Bale Batman because like, I, I, I... Just as a cameo, at just least. Just a cameo. Like maybe he's getting like a bagel or whatever in Paris or something. Or a croissant, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, something like that would be phenomenal. I, mm. Obviously, I'd love to see him in combat. But uh, I think that's a little more unlikely. But hey, we didn't think No Way Home was possible, and we got those amazing cameos and like incredible scenes within that show or that movie. But thank you guys for all the support as of late. Uh, we've loved everything you guys have been doing for us. Uh, we're gonna start cranking out even more content. I know we've been pumping shorts, but we're gonna start pumping out way more Ajax casts and a lot more mm-hmm. gameplay coming up. Let us know if there's anything you guys want to see down in the comments, whether it's us playing some games, where we have some game reviews coming up. We're talking about shows and movies coming out as well. And then we have a few games that we're going to be playing the crap out of. Uh, and we're oh, putting yeah. it all out on YouTube. But other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.